I have taken a look at um, the eternal counsel of God, the eternal purpose of God, the, the very reason for uh, the activities of God in the Bible, the, the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Godhead, um, we all know, existed in eternity and uh, exists forever. And uh, the, the entire Bible can be summarized into the purposes of the Godhead. The Father had a purpose, the Son had a purpose, and that is the Word. The Spirit also had a purpose, and that's the reason, what, the reason for creation. Time, time came into being, creation came into being because, for, like, because of the, the purpose of the Godhead, for it to be unfolded. Now, the Father's purpose, the Father's desire was for a family, a family of sons, a family of sons who will be in his image, who will be in his likeness, who will share in his dominion on this earth. So you, you can look at the Bible from that theme, the Father's desire for a son. You can trace it from the Old Testament, from the book of Genesis, up to the time Jesus Christ came, where he said, this is my beloved son, whom I'm well pleased. And then the, the ultimate fulfillment of it also is in the church, when the church becomes a corporate son, you know, that's the ultimate fulfillment of the Father's desire. Then the Word, who later became the Son, the second person of the Trinity, who manifested in the flesh as Jesus Christ. And the Son's desire was for a bride. And you can also trace that from Genesis to Revelation. You can see that the Bible begins with a with a couple, Adam and Eve, and ends with a wedding, the marriage supper of the Lamb. And you can trace it from that Genesis 2, Genesis 2, where it says, For this cause a man shall leave the father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. You can trace it to the the, the, uh, the time where uh, 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 Jesus died, where the bride the bride was also formed. Like Adam's bride was taken from his side, you know, then the, the lamb's bride, Jesus' bride was taken from his side, you know, and then the church becomes the bride of, of Christ. Bible says we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones, Ephesians 5.30. Now, Adam also referred to Eve as a bone of his bones and flesh of his flesh. So you, you see you see the parallel. Now, the spirit desire was for a temple. And you can also see the story unfolding through the, 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 the Old Testament from the very first uh, indication of a temple. The house of God was in Genesis 28, where um, Jacob took a stone, anointed the stone and said, this is Bethel, this place I'm called Bethel, the house, the house of God. And as you trace it, you will see that Jesus Christ came to be the very temple of God. In, in the Old Testament, all the various temples, the tabernacle, the temples and all that, they were all pictures of the real temple that God was, the Spirit was looking for. When Jesus Christ came, um, God, God left the old temple when he died. And now we, we become the temple of the Holy Spirit. So first Peter 2 5 says that we are being built together as a, as a habitation for the Spirit. You know, Ephesians 2 verse 21 22 says that the in whom the whole building faithfully joined together grows, grows, the whole building grows into a temple of the Spirit. So these three things, the Father desire for sons, the Son desire for a bride, the Spirit desire for a temple, these are the three dimensional uh where counsel, the purpose, eternal purpose of God that unfolds in scripture. Now, I just wanted to give the overview and we'll take time and then we'll take them one after the other and explain in subsequent uh, broadcasts. God bless you. Thank you.